Hey there, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled, God's Gift of Grace, was written by Dave Brannon. As I was grading another stack of papers for a college writing class I teach, I was impressed with one particular paper. It was so well written. Soon, though, I realized it was too well written. Sure enough, a little research revealed that the paper had been plagiarized from an online source. I sent the student an email to let her know that her ruse had been discovered. She was getting a zero on this paper, but she could write a new paper for partial credit. Her response? I am humiliated and very sorry. I appreciate the grace you are showing me. I don't deserve it. I responded by telling her that we all receive Jesus' grace every day. So how could I deny showing her grace? There are many ways God's grace enhances our lives and redeems us from our errors. In Acts 15, Peter says, It gives salvation. We believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved. In Romans 6, Paul says it helps us not to be overtaken by sin. Sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. Elsewhere, Peter says grace allows us to serve. Use whatever gift you have received as faithful stewards of God's grace. Grace, so freely given by God. May we use this gift to love and encourage others. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the undeserving grace we receive from you every single day. Help us to share that grace in our interactions with others. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. I'm Stephen Tabor, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.